Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how to get more candy while trick-or-treating. Now if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell. So trick-or-treating is coming up and Halloween is coming up and uh, I wanted to talk about my tips on how to get more Halloween candy. Now it's kind of weird because I'm 19 and it might be on my age demographic to go trick-or-treating still. But I'm dressing as Darth Vader and stuff so it'll hide my face so like it, they won't tell how old I actually am. So yeah, let's get started. So number one is have a good costume. I know that the budget varies depending on the person, but I feel like some people just like are lazy with it. And with me, I like to go all out on my costumes. And as you can see over here, uh, Darth Vader, that's kind of what I've been doing recently. If you have a good costume, that will really determine how much candy you're gonna get. Because most of the uh, times I've gone trick or treating, I've gotten a lot of candy because I had a really good costume. A couple years I had a like a not very good costume, I didn't get very much. But if you go all out or like you try to put a lot of effort into the costume, that you will get more candy. And that's and that that's kind of my experience anyway. Number two, use a big bag. So I've seen so many people use these. No. It's just like I cannot see that for like little little kids. But if you're above the age of like seven or eight th that's not gonna cut it so uh i recommend using a big trash bag now it's kind of weird because like it might be more of a pain to carry the same amount of candy that's in there if you poured it into here it's not going to appear as much because this bag is bigger and it's not going to appear that you have that much so i don't recommend those bucket things because one they're really cheap and they break easily and two they're just, they just don't hold enough candy for a person who really wants to get that much candy. So yeah, I would recommend using a bigger bag and I've always used this and I always got more candy about it. So yeah. Number three is which, remember which neighborhoods were decent at giving candy. Now, the reason I say this is because I've been to some neighborhoods that I've gotten, uh, that I've given away real big candy and some that I've given away crappy candy. The opposite of what you want to do is wasting your time to go to a different or to the neighborhood that you thought was good and in reality it has a lot of bad candies. Remember which neighborhoods were good because I've done that before. There's this neighborhood called Hillstone near me. It has a lot of good candy that they give away because it's kind of like a bigger neighborhood. Because some people just give away crappy candy and I've been given like Smarties and stuff like that at different uh, neighborhoods now the thing is is that if you're able to drive a little bit more that kind of gives you a little bit more freedom because you can like uh drive to like different places to trick-or-treat and stuff i recommend that if you're a little bit older because for me i'm gonna be dressing as darth vader and i have a couple friends that i'm going with and i'm gonna be driving to a couple different neighborhoods so i recommend that but don't wear yourself out too much because if you feel tired, take a break because like some people kind of do too much in like a short amount of time and I wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, so I would say remember which neighborhoods were good and then go to those ones. Or you could go to a couple other ones that might be new, so. Number four is have a group. So the thing is, is that like that might be weird because like the group, like it would lessen your chances of getting a big amount of candy because they have candy. But sometimes people are very picky with their candy and stuff and they, they just might give it to you. So, uh, because I actually like Whoppers, a lot of people don't. And if someone like doesn't want Whoppers, I will eat them all. Like, I'm weird. I would go in a group and honestly, it's a lot more fun to go in a group instead of just being alone. But yeah, that's just what I recommend. And number five, if there is a bucket outside that says take one, take like three. Like, I wouldn't recommend taking, like, the whole bucket because they will obviously see you. As much as I say that, I feel like they wouldn't really care if they took a couple more pieces than you're supposed to because most of those people don't want to really want to interact with trick-or-treaters and they just want to, like, uh, leave it out. But yeah, I recommend that, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's a little bit of a shorter video because I wanted to talk about my ways of getting trick-or-treating or getting candy while trick-or-treating. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Peace.